Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Inner Money Stocks. Today is Monday, October 7, 2013. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts. We're going to look at the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures. You'll see that the futures are trading down this morning by 13 and three-quarter points to 16.71 per contract. Pretty good overnight decline in the futures, although they have come off the lows quite a bit, uh, but still down sharply. Trading down at uh, 16.71 per contract, so decent move lower. We're down about 13, almost 14 points on the S&P mini futures, uh, but off the lows a little bit. So you want to take that into consideration, at least in the near term. But either way, it is still a sizable decline. And the catalyst is once again the politicians. Um, President Obama apparently refuses to budge on negotiations when it comes to the debt ceiling. And the Republicans are sticking with their uh, thought process that if you're not going to budge, we're not going to budge. And we have a stalemate in Washington. So that's where we are right now. That's what we're looking at. And we'll see how it plays out. But either way, you slice it or dice it. Uh, stalemate in Washington. Um, as we get closer and closer towards uh, credit default, United States may not, def may not, the story is that they may not uh, pay their debts. And if they default, it would be, um, I don't know if it would be uh, catastrophic in the beginning, but it couldn't go on very, very long. But both, neither side really willing to negotiate at this moment in time. So this is looking like it's going to come down to the 11th hour uh, when the debt ceiling approaches. So we'll have to just wait and see. Expect volatility throughout the coming days. Expect volatility today. And we'll just take it one step at a time. Looking over a few other things in this market. Um, let's go to Asia last night. Uh, the Nikkei 225 was down 1.2%. The Shanghai index was closed for a holiday. So, again, we don't want to make too much out of the Shanghai, but the Nikkei 225 index uh, was open, and that was down 1.22%. Uh, keep an eye on the dollar-yen chart. Dollar-yen will tell you a lot. This morning, dollar-yen is getting hammered to the downside. Dollar-yen is trading down another 58 cents. Uh, when the dollar yen goes down, it usually means the overall major stock indexes in the U.S. are going to go down. Remember that big carry trade uh, puts a lot of money into the uh, S&P 500, the Dow, and the Russell 2000, as well as the Nasdaq. So just remember, you always want to watch this dollar yen chart. I can't say it enough. It's one of the most important charts out there. Generally, when the dollar yen is lower, gold will catch a bid. That is the case this morning. Take a look at uh, gold this morning. We'll look at the GLD. But spot gold at the moment is trading higher by about $10, at least at the moment. Um, let me get the exact quote here. Yeah, spot gold now is up about $8. It was up about $10. It's trading at $13.18 an ounce. So $1,318 an, uh, $1, an ounce. So up about 8 bucks on the session. The GLD, you can see, is trading around $127.22. The GLD yesterday closed, or I should say on Friday, closed at $126.53. So decent little pop in the GLD. Uh, and when that dollar yen goes lower, the GLD goes higher. That's how it works. Um, I know a lot of people look at the U.S. dollar index. U.S. dollar index is not as criti critical as it used to be. The dollar yen chart seems to be the dominant chart these days. So keep that on watch. Taking a look at uh, spot crude today, um, when we look at the oil market, spot crude right now is down about 92 cents to 102.92 a barrel. Um, let's go to the USO, which is a good proxy for light sweet crude. And you'll see that's trading around 37.04, closed at around uh, 37.31 on Friday. So trading down a little bit. That could fluctuate. Um, there's still a fair amount of support in this general area around the $37 play, uh, level for USO. So we'll watch that closely today. But nonetheless, um, for, for the most part, most of the markets are deflating really across the board. Looking at some other news events, it uh, looks like... Um, you have some <clears throat> the World Bank cutting the growth forecast for China and Eastern Asia. So again, the World Bank uh, cutting the growth for forecast for China and Eastern Asia doesn't really seem to be affecting the market. The main story today is going to be uh, really, you know, how close does the U.S. come to the debt ceiling without raising the debt ceiling? So right now, the debt ceiling, I believe, is somewhere around 
17 trillion. I'm not sure what it's going to be uh, once these politicians uh, decide they're going to work something out. Ultimately, they'll work something out. I really don't think we're going to get a debt uh, default, but it could come down to the wire. So you want to be a little bit careful there. And um, you know, we'll see if the markets continue to get rattled. Um, I'm not 100% sure exactly how that's all going to play out. But nonetheless, um, it is worth noting and it is pretty important going forward. Um, one stock that is moving today is Outer Wall, O-U-T-R. Looks like a private equity firm is getting involved in this one. The stock is trading up around that $64 level. There's a little bit of resistance here, so you have to respect it. But the bigger level is going to be up towards 72, which really was a double top from 2012. So Outer Wall is on the move. I don't know if it has a lot more steam to the upside from here, but it can make its way up to 72. I would not really look to get too involved in this equity on the short side um, at the moment. It is still showing strength. Uh, so another stock that I'm seeing this morning uh, on the move is Sotheby's, but there's not a lot of volume behind it. So we won't really get into that one all that much. But Sotheby's looks like it's up decently this morning. But uh, I'm not sure. When I don't see a lot of volume out behind it in the pre-market, I really don't try to entertain it uh, too much going forward. So we'll leave that one alone. But the big one on the move today is Outer Wall. If I could pick one stock that is on the move this morning. Uh, on the move lower, uh, there are quite a few equities. Um, we'll have a few gap plays this morning. Um, right around 9 o'clock in the morning. But you do have stocks like um, Priceline, uh, MasterCard is lower. So we definitely have some equities out here that are definitely trading lower. Um, I'm going to have some gap plays for Cooper Tire. Cooper Tire is getting hit. I'll show you that one. CTB. So Cooper Tire really on the, on the retreat this morning. But I will have some gap play levels for that one. If it does get down to our areas, we'll be snatching that one up today. So um, again, gap plays will be put out around 9 a.m. in the morning. But um, right now, we're really just dealing with a lot of this uh, debt ceiling chatter. Will the U.S. default on its debt and so forth? So we're going to leave it there. Uh, we'll keep it short and sweet today. And um, as usual, we'll see everybody on the charts. Take care now.